The topic today is I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Hate. Why what? do you think we live in a world now that is so full of hate? Do we? Seems like it. You think we live in a world that is full of hate? I think we live in a world where everybody is trying to defend an identity. And in order to keep an identity, we have to reject the other identity. Hate is a very big word, you know. When you hate something, you wish it was, it never was. I don't know whether we live in a world of hate. I'm sure hate exists. I think we use the word very carelessly to keep an identity. I hate that color. I hate this person. I hate my mommy or I hate my daddy. I think it is a word of protest. Hate itself is very ugly, you know. Hate will cause genocide. Hate will cause destruction. Hate is a very negative, uh, destructive energy. I think what people are using, they're toying with that word hate. They're toying, they're playing with that word and, and, and they don't know when you play with that word, it can catch fire. My understanding of the way this word hate is used by people is to define themselves. I hate that food. Then what are you saying? I am someone who loves this food. Because people don't know how to claim what they love, they are using hate as a mean to claim something. You follow? The opposite to hate is love, if I'm using that word. Mm. So when somebody says, I hate, they dare not claim what they love. They dare not claim what they love. The problem with love is it's inclusive. Mm. Hate is separative. When you hate, you separate. So that word hate that is being used by people is playing with fire. Racism is a kind of a hate, you know. But actually, it is not hate, really. The person doesn't have an identity. He has to say, I am not this. I am not that. I hate these people to make him feel he, had, he is this. So, when hate is misused as a mean to identify, to declare you, so my statement, be very careful playing with fire. Don't use hate to create an identity. Use love. You, you can say, I love my race. It doesn't translate, I hate the other race. But if you use the statement, I hate that other race, to declare my race, that is a very cheap way. There is a very unsophisticated way of living. But now, is there a beauty to hate? No, hate is what you don't want in your life. So you should hate racism. You should hate abuse. You should hate, what is the word you use? Misogynistic male. You should hate. Hate means I am living for that to end in my life. But the word hate always is dangerous because it's a negative connotation. I will say go with love. People don't have an identity. They cannot see themselves. They are taught to see themselves. Why do you think hate is so powerful? Like if you look at like the leaders in the world right now, the rhetoric of hate is so strong, right? Maybe not without, without using that exact word hate. But no, it, it is equivalent to asking why drug is so prevalent, alcohol is so prevalent. It's addictive. It is easy. Follow this, huh? Go and investigate, for those who are listening, how you are using hate to identify you. It's a cheap way to have a sense of I. Whether yogis and the siddhas and my disciples meditate for years to come through a true sense of themselves. Hate is a very easy way to do it. Nazism, I don't know whether it's right appropriate. Why I'm using Nazis, it's, it's, every, it's the same formula, it's a, from the same playbook. They created a hate against something to make them a superior race. Hitler was trying to say you are a superior race in order to, he couldn't prove it. They did. They went and researched, you know, I was even watching something the other day. They went to Tibet trying to show that it is a superior race, you know. It's all from Nietzsche, I suppose, you know, the, the superior man. So it's all that thinking, I'm, I'm better than you because they couldn't, actually justify they are better, they use hate to declare them.
Hmm. Right? They use hate. Like there are countries now, they are moving into um, mono race. They, they, they want to keep themselves in a particular purity, I suppose. Because they cannot prove that. They mm. have to create a hate. Like if you see political party, they don't love their party. They create more hating the other party. Yeah. Okay, very good. So what is hate? This is what Friends to Mankind works against, you know. Don't use hate to create an identity. If you hate, that does not mean you love this. Right? So follow carefully. Eh? Hate is a very cheap way to create a sense of I where the real human being spends a lifetime finding out what he is independent of hate. What is love? What are you for? But you must understand, huh? If somebody is racist and he hates another race, you are made to believe as though he loves his race. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Just together, coming together. There's a great poet, I forgot his name. Sarinda Swan's friend. I read his poet. He was writing about Trump the early days of coming into power. They said they get together, they hate so much. They hate together so much, it feels like love. Mm -hmm. I like that line, I forgot. Great poet. Oh, the spoken word. He's one of those who stands up mm. and speaks. He says they hate together so much, it feels like love. If you watch medieval Europe, if you watch anything, that's what happens. It's the same playbook. Like if you watch, that is the playbook. It is easy to feel like we are together when we hate the same thing. So many times they bring people together to hate something. So they feel a kind of union. You know the theory of uh, dating I heard from a long, long time ago, research, 20 yes, 20 question. Mm -hmm. If you meet with somebody and if you both can answer yes to the same thing, you think you're in love. There's a harmony. Oh, I like blue color. The girl goes, ah, oh, me too. And whatever, whatever. So I think the 20 hate is far more attractive. It feels like we are bonding. It feels like we are uniting against something. Have you seen all the methodology is to unite people against something. So you have to create a great villain to make a hero. What is hate? You are an idiot. That's what a hate is. You are someone who don't know who you are. Who's someone who cannot directly access you. You cannot connect with you. It's, it's the tool of the driller. Do you know how easy it is to make people hate something? Drop right word, put the right narrative, pictureize it. We will all hate. Hate is to convince you if that doesn't exist, my life will be better. Hmm. Opposite is love. Love is so hard. We think love is only romantic relationship. Love is only I love you, you love me, kiss, kiss. But do you think, like, it's hard for me to understand, like, how people can, like, bring that feeling, right? I, it would be better if you didn't exist, you know, and to other people, to groups of people. No, this is something we must, we, we haven't accepted about human being. Human being, even in now, are able to throw a baby into a fire, bomb a mother and child, and rejoice. Be careful, it's like an addiction. It is like a madness. You should talk to psychologists who have spent their lifetime. I am giving you from the perspective of personal growth. No hate makes anyone grow. Hate does not make you move. It only spends you in the direction of destruction. Only love makes you grow. But you ask. You said one? Why so many like people? I, I just, I struggle to understand like, Obviously, because I'm not a hateful person, like how you could hate an entire group of people to the point where you wish that they didn't even exist. Like, if you look at America, certain <clears throat> white people and very they nationalistic. Are yeah, they like want black people gone and they want. No, they, they are morons. You know what they are? You should not even give an ounce of respect because they are not. I'm asking, do you know you? I don't think they deserve respect, but look at the country. <coughs> Which it's country? America. Look mm. at the way it came to. It came to the point where the person in power 
sell, sold this rhetoric of hate where the violence on ground became so much more elevated. If you want to go historically or, 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 or for a nation, the nation that doesn't have an identity by itself, an earned identity, a nation is people that are not rooted, will have to hate something to form an identity. My point is hate is nothing but you can't access you. You are using hate to define you. Whether you hate that person is even irrelevant, you know. That comes later. You are using that to create. Take Nazi. They have to find a race and hate that race in order for them to feel we are. It happens everywhere. It happens religiously. I hate that religion. Not that I love my religion. So, it is, it is the unawareness of who they are. The absence of meditation, so to say. You are not sitting, paying attention to you. You are not looking at you. Do you know India, as, even though I'm not born in India, but India, the history, there's never invaded a country ever. You know? They never invaded. Even when they were attacked, they used to push the army to the edge and then send them off. And once they asked, why do you do that? Why don't you just go and finish the job? He said, it's unpolite to enter somebody else's home without permission. So it was a rhetoric, not of hate. Mm. It was a rhetoric of love and it's a rhetoric of people who know themselves. It's one of the land that propagated know thyself, meditate, get to know, have an, an identity, authentic. People live unaware of themselves and the way they create a false awareness is to hate. Now they hate women who dress. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up actually, like... There was just an attack in Sydney, like when we we're filming filming this, and this was a man, and they were saying like, please make sure you name this attack correctly. This was a instance of male violence against women. Mm. He came in to <clears throat> attack and kill women, and this happens a lot. Not a lot. It happens with men where they are rejected by women from a young age, and it's they start to hate them. That's called incels, involuntary celibates. And they huh. a lot involuntary celibates celibacy like celibacy yeah okay so basically they can't have sex uh, because nobody wants to have sex with them but that group of people they tend to have forums and spaces where they build a lot of hate against women to the point where some of them act out in violence because they are unable to get them why are, why are they, why aren't there people speaking out against these people why are they even given room. Why are they coming to the point where, okay, I was unable to no, get I, this girl. I'm going to kill her. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, that's where human being can go. There's a phenomenon in elephant called musk. When enough people reject the elephant, the elephant goes crazy. This is happening. But I'm asking, why aren't we acting on this? Why aren't we identifying these people? He is blaming the woman for maybe something is wrong with him. Yeah. If women don't want you... What to do? No, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> they don't want to mate with you. They don't want to have your baby. You, you, go, you go fix yourself. You become the kind of man that somebody wants. But the easy way not to pay attention to him is hate. Now, I'll give you another point. Mm. Could hate be something is showing up about me that I cannot face, I'm reversing it onto another. So if somebody hates you, you are revealing something about them. Hate seems to be like the ugliest form of insecurity. No, it, it is it's the ugliness that comes out of insecurity, but I'm pointing my direction this way. Mm. Whenever somebody hates you, let's say somebody's a racist or, or, or whatever, like this guy who killed women, what is showing up is, wow, women have that much power. Yeah, they do. They can like a man or reject a man. So you are not all powerful and your inability to face that you have no power, you attack it by hate. If a woman dress short or something, walk around, you don't have ability to control you. Why are you hating that? It's avoidance of responsibility. It is the inability to reflect. Now, I'm talking to you now. All this is happening. Are you going to stand by and watch? No, you do your part. 
love acts too, you know, not only hate. They think the greatest power is hate, but it's actually love, you know. Love builds, love brings people together. Love talks against this. You see, you have been speaking for a while with me. And a lot of time you're taking the position as though we are helpless. Hmm. Why don't we bring topic of the people that are actually doing something? These idiots, these morons exist worldwide. They don't deserve attention. They deserve prosecution by the law. Right? But what is our part? You see, the day hate feels like love, love dies. You know, uh, um, something that's pretty about that guy in Sydney, the person who shot him down at the end was a female cop. Good for her. Congratulations. Good. I'm not saying this that I hate him because I love rightness. I love everything to be held rightly. A gun can be pointed on hate. A gun can uphold love too, you know. Good for her. You know, shoot that bastard. And I'm not saying it out of hate. I'm saying it for the love of freedom, love of right. Right? I think the time to spread love rightly, love has been made another way you are castrated, you know, as though love accepts all. No, love acts. But let me go back to hate. I love this idea. Everything in your life you think you hate, you are using something to deny something or create an identity. Yeah, like you know how like some people, like if you buy like a really fancy car, they'll be like, oh, so materialistic. I hate materialism. So, Good for oh, you. Well, wouldn't Good you buy the car? Thank you, you for the compliment. Yeah, wouldn't you buy the car if you could afford it? Mm, Good for it. But now what are we establishing the baseline of people? People need to develop self-identity rightly. Don't let the politician, the people who want to power monger, to use that lack as a tool to instigate you to hate without you knowing it's hate when they're exploiting you not having an identity of you. Establish who you are for you. And establish who you are by what you love, what you uphold what you celebrate, what you want. How do you choose to see the world? i give you one instance. Eh? Don't just look at the world as how it is, you know. Look at it as how it can be. Why I think hate is bothering is these people are disturbing my peace. These people are making me question. No, let your peace be a little disturbed. Let you be questioned. Now, dedicate your life. Dedicate your life. For that lady in Australia who shot that guy, I, I'm just using this, I don't know the detail. She shot him not because she hated him. She shot him because she upholds some love and rightness for all. That bullet was not on hate, that was on love. And we should love upholding. Mm. Because now this can be used to hate men too, you know. Yeah, of course, of uh. course. Of course. Mm. Then there are women running around. I hate men. I said, how do you think you came to this earth? I don't think that. But that's also like, how do you dictate that for somebody's experience, right? Wouldn't you, like, if you are in a position where you see all this violence against women through men, a part of you will hate men. No, you're using that hate to make an identity as a woman. As though being a woman, you must hate men. Hmm. No. As a woman, you reject a certain man. Mm. Mm. And when you reject a certain man, he will get upset, make friend with this lady police officer. <laughs> you might need it. Need it. <laughs> but, but no, what I'm saying is that like when somebody or a group, like a like people or somebody does something to you that hurts you, uh, you would understand why people who existed in the time of Nazi Germany, Jewish people would hate Germans. Yeah. How do you manage that? Or oh, even now, look at Palestinians and uh, 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 Israeli Jews. Like you would understand why Palestinians would hate them. So how do you manage that? I don't think you manage hurt. You know, I don't want to be philosophical. You go to your love. I guess, how do you not allow 
that the too. hurt to transform into no, it's hate. It's easy, you know. It's easy. Like so, if something hits you, you want to. It's it's a it's a human response that you need to become conscious. Like if you are afraid of a snake, you kill it. No, no, no. Let it go. Just put it back in the forest. Mm. It will survive. You just need some discrimination no? because hate eventually destroys you. I'm not worried about what you hate. I'm worried about how it infects and overtake you. Hate gives you a sense of self that is negative. So now, I, I not answering question. Is your sense of self built by love, or is your sense of self built by hate? It's like this. Huh? Your sense of self can be built by what can be, or your sense of self can be built by the fear of survival. Hmm. So the construct of you is what we are exploring, right? The construct of you. Now, if somebody hates somebody, it happens. If you kill the family, they're going to hate. What else will yeah. they do? But what I'm saying is, step back and see how am I constructing myself? Because hate can never be the answer. Can never, ever, ever be the answer. It's like a fire that consumes you eventually. You see, whatever the Nazis did for seven years or five years, whatever they did, it took a while. Till today, it's not over. You know, another thousand years it will live. See what it did. Look what it's doing now. Look at the look at how it played out. Now, Ex it's not exactly, but there are parallels. And I think uh, if if somebody is listening to this, uh, parents must be careful. Don't cheat your child to believe hating is love. I I'm not saying I have the answer. No, that happens. Yeah. That don't happens. teach your child hate as love. Don't don't teach your child that way because hate eventually destroys its own root. Any race that build itself by hate. Ceases to exist in time. Yeah, I mean, it's like it just. A, this is a very light example. I was stung by a jellyfish, and I felt like hatred towards that jellyfish because it made me scared of the ocean. But what am I going to do? Hate the jellyfish and never go back in the ocean? Then I don't get to enjoy the ocean. Or, or should you destroy the ecosystem? Ah, should I kill? Nobody gets to go in the ocean because I got stung by a jellyfish. Or if you manage to kill <laughs> all the jellyfish, I'm sure you will then I'm gonna throw the, the ocean to 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 an extent. So it's like I manage my fear with the jellyfish. But I think my comment to you, uh, maybe it's time for you to wake up also to see the proactive part. What is your role to play? I think good people should not take the role as a victim. We should not be intimidated, bullied by these hateful people who show their face by racism in many, many mm. forms. I think the question is: this whole dialogue is why can't I act mm. against this? Love wins. Love has a longevity. Hate is momentary. One more Hate time, needs though. to be fueled. One more time. I was so hurt. How do I stop hurt from turning into hate? I give another answer. You said I was so hurt. How not to turn into? How do hate? I not turn that turn hurt it into, into hate. hate? Because I'm, I'm, my pain now. I want to throw it back at you. No. I think you must understand how hate was installed in me that is now coming alive. Do you know when you get wounded? When you get wounded, eh? when you're in pain, is that the word you use? Pain. Mm. When you're in pain, and the first reaction of a human, I don't want another person to go through this. When it, it, there's a real human human mm. context, when I when I feel pain, I I the first thing is I don't want anybody else to feel this. If it is turning to hurt, you already have been indoctrinated. Hate. No, sorry. When it turns into hate, you are already indoctrinated. Understand this: we are living in a world through our education, through our means. Hate is seeping in. You are being recruited to be the agent of hate. So, whenever you are hurt, if it is turning to hate, go back to your conditioning. Go back to your programming. 
You are not designed to hurt. The other day I was listening to a scientist, a very beautiful insight he was putting out. He said, we think we human beings are designed for fight and flight and, uh, and violence and aggression. He said, that is not true. That is just a political rhetoric. He said, we are not. We are designed to come together. We are built with compassion, empathy. We grew up together. Human species evolve as a band. We bonded together. We buried our dead. We bonded together. So, hate is an artificial thing that they plant in you by creating a false narrative of being attacked. So, when you are hurt, how you are asking, if I am hurt, how can I prevent it from turning to hate? If hate comes, no, you have already been programmed. Subtly, hmm. you have already been seeped in. The other day, somebody was asking me about something. Uh, is he a Chinese? Uh, uh, what is he? Uh, a Malay? What is he? Malaysian, I said. Just to make me look at the demarcation alone, they already put the seed of hatred. I said, it's Malaysian. Oh, you want to know his ethnicity. Why? You're doing a DNA test now. <laughs> If you want to know his ethnicity, I'll tell you, he's Chinese. His ancestors are from China. But if you search that ancestry, I guess you and I both came from Africa. How did they feed this into you? The religious fellow doing it, the politician doing it. Hurt cannot turn to hate unless it is abused. That's my statement. Hurt wakes up as compassion. Like I remember, I don't know why I'm telling this story. Your brother, you know, at birth he died. At the same time, a Malay couple gave birth. I, I carried this baby when I'm buried, I came back. When I saw them, I went and hugged them and said, congratulations. Hmm. You just made it. My hurt turned, I, I couldn't believe it. And the guy hmm. hugged me and said, we should be friends. I said, we are. Hmm. I said, good, good. My hurt will turn to compassion. For it to turn to hate, a driller is involved. Yeah. Will be my statement. This is just an inquiry. Yeah. Just Bef for everybody to think. Before we end. Yeah. Somebody is watching and they, you know, maybe they're thinking a bit deeper and they're like, damn it, maybe I have created an identity out of hate. How do you un unpack it and dismantle it? How do you turn towards love? No, take some time to look at you, learn. Be a self-determined person. Discover you. There is so much about you. Discover. And do this. I tell you this. Almost everybody around, tell them, tell me something about me that you think I don't know. And don't tell the bad thing. Hold all your friends when you meet. Give me one compliment. No, don't lie to me. Tell me about something. Tell me about something. Please play a role for me to know me. Please play a role. I remember, I must tell this story. You know, I have said this, before, that, that Mr. Gunn, when I was 10 years old, sorry, I, had, uh, I was getting into fights in school and all that, and he came into the class, big guy. I was sitting at the back and trying to avoid eye contact. He called me, come here. In my class, you sit right in front. And he came up and he looked at me for a long time, you know, it felt like a long time. And he said, you good boy, aren't you? I was like... Like a puppy. Nah, like a puppy, I'm like, you good boy. You, you sit here, you take care of me. He made me see one part when at that time, hmm. I was just seeing the angry boy. And that changed. And with him, I'm always in my best behavior. I'm always the good boy. Hmm. Not that I didn't get into fight. Sometimes he will smile at me. But until today, he, he died that, the following year, had heart mm. attack. But I would forever be grateful. Like how my masters saw me. They saw something I couldn't see. Like people say, go meditate, know thyself. Find somebody that will reflect you and hold you to that. Now, I hold you to this, my daughter. You will act to undo this. You will not be paralyzed by this world and by hate. You will come into action. <laughs> and for the rest of you, what is your action? 
know you, really know you. And sometimes we are blinded. The exercise, ask everybody that you know, say something about me. Please tell me, because I sometimes don't know. And that should keep you away from hate and help you to grow in love. Okay. Thank you. I Thank love you. you. I love you. <laughs>